So, here's a question for you. What are you going to be doing to switch off this Christmas? Okay. It's obviously been a really stressful year for everybody. Every single person has had a level of stress that we've all had to live with on an ongoing basis. So I think this Christmas, it's more important than ever that we all switch off a little bit. And yet, switching off can make us feel just a little bit strange. It can, we're so used to filling our lives up with busyness, 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 with keeping going, that we kind of suppress how we're really feeling and switch things off, have no teaching. And I know I certainly go, well, what do I do now? So I don't know whether you have that problem as well. But of course, in this world that we live in, we're also, it's very hard to switch off. And my first tip for myself for switching off is that I'm going to um, reduce the amount of time that I spend on the iPad, the computer and my phone online. So that in particular, I'm talking about social media. I don't think I spend a lot of time on there, but as long as you've got it on your phone and your iPad, there is always the temptation to just check. So what I would suggest what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking the uh, apps, any social media apps off my iPhone and off my um, iPad as well. Notice I haven't said my computer because I'm going to leave it on my computer because of course I can open them up in a browser. But what I am going to do with my computer is I'm going to limit myself quite, quite strictly to um, um, an amount of time that I will be online, if at all. I'll have some days completely without opening up my computer. I'll have other days where I might say I'm going to work at my computer, but I'm not going to be online. And I might have other days where I go on for maybe half an hour or an hour. That's it, online. So that would be my first Tuesday teaching tip. Switch off your computers, your iPads and your iPhones for some time. It's hard to go cold turkey completely, so just make sure that you uh, you think for yourself how much you can do. So that'd be my first one. My second one is to do what I've just been doing, and that is get out for a walk. Um, it's a bit of a showery day here. The sun is shining though at the moment. So because I could see that was happening, I pulled on my wellies and off I went into the countryside, which is very close to me around here, just for a quick walk. It was only half an hour, but it was lovely to be out in the sunshine. And here in the UK, of course, we've got really short days and we're all really suffering, going, it seems to be dark the whole time, especially when it rains. So even when it rains, if it's sunny, even better get out for a walk. And my husband and I, we even go for walks in the dark, actually. I know it doesn't have quite the same effect, but at least it means that we're out and we are exercising. So that's my second tip, get out of the house. My third tip, go and play the piano. Just go and play the piano. Don't think you've got to go. Don't think you've got to practice it. Just go and play when you feel like it. And actually, sometimes when you don't feel like it, but you... I have this word that I use, discombobulated. Yeah. When, and I felt a bit discombobulated last Wednesday. I think we've all kind of done this, this roller coaster going up and down, haven't we? So when I feel a little discombobulated, my, I, I know that if I go and sit at the piano and just let it happen, whatever, play whatever is around, it could be something really, really easy, nothing at all stretching. Then by the time I finished, it's only 10 minutes, 15 minutes, half an hour, maybe an hour was his past. That's the trouble with sitting at the piano, isn't it? Time flies. Um, but there we go. I've kind of reassembled myself again into some semblance of salliness. So my three tips for switching off this Christmas, because please, please, please do. We've still got January, February to go. It's going to be tough here in the UK, so we need to switch off. First thing, if you remember, was... Switch off your, your phones, your iPads, your computers, so that you only are online for a certain amount of time. We don't have to keep checking all the time. Second thing, get out the house, go for a walk. Oh, I love that because then you don't take anything with you, especially if you've taken all your social media off your phone. Best thing ever, that is. Third thing, go and play the piano. Yeah, just go and play the piano and enjoy playing. I'm just going to check in with who's watching. Oh! Lovely, lots of uh, uh, Seanads there, and I think there's Marty and Marie and Kath. 
hello there everybody thank you so much for watching and also a big thank you to everybody who's tuned in to my Tuesday teaching tips during the course of 2020 um, I really enjoy doing these talking to a phone seems to be really quite a normal thing these days doesn't it and um, this is the very last one now for this 2020 year I shall be back with more Tuesday teaching tips on I think it will be Tuesday January the 5th so if you'd like to join me then then please do if you're a curious piano teacher I do hope we're going to see you at some of the Christmas parties on Friday that would be super and if you're not uh, with from me and Sharon to you take care keep safe get out the house get playing the piano switch off your phones okay lots of love take care see you in the new year <laughs>